Hi everybody. It is Thursday, September 7th. I just got in from fishing on the Spitfire out of Marina Del Rey. Fun trip. Fun, fun trip. So this is my third day on the water this week, so I have been at it a little bit, but it's good. All is good. Hello, Terry. Hey, Lloyd. Hey, Marvelous. We had a bunch of new people on the water with us today, which was nice. It's always nice to have some new people. So it's good. Hey, John. Steve was with us today. Hey, Steve. Hey, Drama. Hello, everybody. Let's, uh... Hey, Daniel. Sure, a lot of people are watching football game right now. Hey, Kenny, how you doing? It was fun. We had lots of fun fishing with the guys today. We had a really good early morning bite on calicos, and it was pretty wide open there for a while. Um, some of the people got limits of bass there. And then um, after that, kind of slowed up when we went rock fishing. Uh, once a condition changed, a current switched, and the boat swung around to a different direction, uh, that kind of killed the bass fishing. But um, it was really good. Hey, Jose in Texas. Mike. Mike's trying this on Facebook today. That's good. Hey, Robert. How you doing? Terry. Football or fishing never. Let's see if this works. Nope. So this is a private charter we had recently. Let's see. I can find it for you guys. Yeah, so here's a private charter we had recently. Okay guys, I'm out here on a private charter with my clients. We got a lot of calicos here. I'm gonna show you how quick they bite. Put that line in the water right there. There's the anchovy going into the water. Let's see how long it takes. I'm gonna say 15 seconds. Let, let the rod tip up. There you go, let that bait swim. Look at all those bass coming up. There's one biting it right there. Put the rolling gear. Bring it up. There you go. Stop winding. And that took um, 20 seconds. Very good. That's all you do. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Every one of our charters is like this. <laughs> good job. Jumping in the boat. Yeah, there's a lot of fish today. Thanks.
that was from uh, a week ago. I have one from this week. I'll play for you a little bit later. Jim Willis. Hello, sir. Thank you for fishing with us today. You are the only person smart enough to bring an electric reel. But <laughs> it was fun. Thanks for being on the boat with us. So, Kenny, nice to know that Jeremy and Jackson are clients of yours. I know Rocky's a client of yours, too. I'll be taking him fishing uh, this coming week and some of his friends. So, looking forward to that. We have another charter on Saturday. Uh, we'll be fishing um, offshore, looking for um, Dorado. And we have two spots available. So if anybody wants to join us, you can use that link there and join us. Um, we'll be fishing that. Hey, Robert. Yeah, so we're going to start off looking for Dorado. And then if we don't have any luck, probably sliding inside and fish for bass. It's been really good bass fishing my last couple of trips. And um, even though the water's off color, it's kind of weird. Um, parts of the horseshoe, it's the whole horseshoe is red tide. Parts of it, that red tide is just killing it, and there's no bites at all. But other parts of it, the bass are biting really good. So we saw that two days ago when we were out there. Lots of bass, and uh, I'm going to try it again on Saturday. Hopefully I won't get a chance to. Hopefully we'll find schools of Dorado and we'll just be staying offshore but if we get lucky um, get a few Dorado early and if the wind picks up then we'll run inside and go bass fishing right, and then I don't know if you guys know but come the 15th of September rock fishing here in Southern California changes drastically nothing shallower than 300 feet um, you have to fish at least 300 feet deep and uh, some of the fish that we normally are allowed to keep like uh, tree fish and other rock fish like that we will not be able to keep so um, it's gonna be tough it's gonna be a new world of fishing lots of boats are trying to figure out how to um, get ready for that that's already happened up in Northern California they already have to fish at least uh, 50 fathoms at least 300 feet and nothing shallower than that and there's some species of fish up there they can't keep either so it's going to be challenging um, I don't know if anybody's looking forward to it but um, this is the way it is right now we don't have any choice and it's just the way life is right now So we'll see what happens. Uh, remind you guys about the Super Chats. This is the box that I'm going to be raffling off this month. The SKB box. I actually brought the box out so you can see it. And beautiful box. It's got three trays. This one is nicer than the one I had in the picture. It's got the rocket launchers on there. So you can put four rods on it. So it's pretty cool. Again, it's only a $5 Super Chat ticket to win a, have a shot at winning that. And it's over a $300 value. So should be really good. Hey, Tyler, how you doing? Oh, so Tyler was out today on the producer. They got limits of Dorado, and they had four yellowfin. But they ran out of time. Also, it sounds like Tyler got limit of Dorado, and he got four yellowfin tuna. That's pretty good. Now, Terry, we didn't get enough raffle tickets in August, so we're carrying it over to September. We're going to do it in September and raffle off this nice prize. And I'm going to throw in a couple of other little prizes, too, as consolation prizes, but this will be the, the main prize. 
that we're going to do. Okay? All right, let's do the show opening. I'm Dan Hernandez, and I live to fish. All right. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. So we did have some new people with us on the boat today, and it was lots of fun. Uh, hey, Jeff, welcome. And uh, it was good. And I want to say the women outfished the guys today. I think two or three of the women had limits of bass today. I think maybe one guy had limits of bass today. It wasn't me. I only had two legal bass. I made a crucial mistake um, today. I uh, started out fishing really small hooks, size uh, two hooks with the sardines we were using. Um, and I did that because last couple of times I fished in the bay, the fish were really particular about small hooks, light line, fish light line, 15 pound tests with a spinning outfit. But a couple of times I tried to bounce legal bass um, twice they fell off the hook because the hook was so small. It was the only size two hook and it wasn't in the fish really hard. So um, after that, I moved up to a size 1 0 hook and I didn't lose another fish when I tried bouncing it. I had uh, two more legal bass and I got those in the boat. So that was good. So right now we have. Uh, couple people watching us on Facebook and uh, a bunch of people most of you are from YouTube live and we have one person on Twitter so that's good all right so we have 50 people on right now but only 14 likes so can we get more likes please Um, all right, Robert, so there's a couple ways to do the Super Chat. Let me grab the link for the other way to do it. You can do it right here on where the comments are and do it there. But, yeah, 30% of that goes to um, Google. Google takes it right off the top. So if you want to do it off my website, you can. Um, and how can you do it? We have a link. Let me see if I can find it. Where would it be? I think it's under Dan's products on my website. Let me look there right now. Yeah, there it is. So it's for a $5 raffle prize. Um, if you do that way with the credit card, we only lose 4% instead of losing 30% that Google takes. So there's that. So Robert, you could use that link there. And that will, you could buy a raffle ticket off our website and then we'll just print you out a ticket and do it that way. So Jeff said they did really good on the Dorado. Great Dorado fishing, good yellowfin tuna too. So I take it Jeff, you're fishing all US waters. Sounds like the tuna and the Dorado are in US waters.
It looks like um, the Triton is now fishing um, for tuna and Dorado offshore. They're doing um, overnight trips. I don't know if that's next week. Enterprise had oh the Enterprise had rockfish and had some bites on tuna today too. So I guess they're fishing rockfish and then looking outside for tuna. Let's see what the fish counts look like. Let's see Pierpoint had uh, one trip today. I can't believe that's right. They must have more than one trip today. It's all rockfish, whitefish, seven sheephead, long beach sport fishing, 11 anglers got 25 rockfish. And then San Pedro had several boats out, it looks like. And they had uh, 200 Dorado, 75 yellowfin. I'm guessing that's a multi day trip. All right, so there's a question there, guys, about Mad Mac, if you should use a swivel or not. That's a good question because I probably will be using a Mad Mac this weekend. Um, Jeff, do you use a swivel with your Mad Mac? Or do you use a swivel on the leader to the Mad Mac? So I'm guessing you're using 200, 300 pound leader on that Mad Mac. So let's see. And he says they fish the 181, the 279, lots of fish. That's a ways outside of my zone, but we'll be looking. I'll be out there this weekend. So the hurricane right now is below Cabo and coming up this way. Hello, Jose. Two Jose's. All right, so there's your answer, um, Crepto. Uh, Jeff says that do not use a swivel. So do you just tie the Mad Max straight to your trolling outfit, Jeff? I mean, I know you have Spectre on there, and then you have, I don't know, 100 yards of monofilament. But do you just tie it straight onto there, or do you um, put on a heavier leader? John has his pre-rigged. Pre-rigged, they probably come with the swivel. I would think. All right, so here's the charter that I had this week. Uh, I don't have a lot of pictures from it, but here's a few pictures.
picture just to show you guys how how stacked up the fish were today. So Jeff says we use spectra to double uni knot to mono straight to the lure. But I don't see why the swivel would hurt. Okay. Do you guys get very many fish on that lure, Jeff? I mean, I see a lot of people do that. Yeah, if you're going to put on a swivel, very good point. Use a barrel swivel, not a snap swivel. Things will probably pop open on you. And I wouldn't put the swivel right on the lure. I would tie the line, your leader, straight to um, the lure and then make a leader with the barrel swivel on there. I think that would work. Hey, David. close-up camera reminding you that boomerang one of our sponsors b52 bucktails another sponsor uh, what's Mike's question also oh, he's asking Jeff what pound test line and reels does he use for trolling I'm going to say big ones. Yeah, if you guys haven't fished on uh, the Spitfire, I just posted a couple pictures earlier today from uh, the trip today. Um, it's a really nice boat. Uh, Jeremy does a great job running it. His kids often work on it. Um, crew's really nice and friendly. That stern on the boat is as big and wide as you will ever find on a party boat. Just so much room back there. It's really comfortable. And um, it's got a little uh, top deck where you can get away from everybody. Sit up there if you want to just relax for a little bit. Uh, the bathrooms are amazing. And I don't know if that's just because I'm getting older now. But part of the way I judge boats these days is on the size of the bathrooms. Um, you know, how big the bathroom is, if it has handrails, how big the toilet is. Um, it's just the bathrooms on that boat are really nice. Full-size toilets, uh, just like you're in a restaurant. And uh, the crew does a really good job. And Fabian in the galley does a great job with the food. He's, you know, been there for a while and uh, does a good job cooking. So it's pretty good. All right, Mike. So there's your answer from Jeff. Um, he likes to use 130-pound mono unless it's cows and it's over 200-pound mono. Hey, Chuck. How you doing? You want some knot tying videos? I guess we could do that. It's just there's so many um, tutorial videos out there that are done with graphics. I think show the knots better. That's why I haven't really bothered showing a lot of knots. I do a lot of rigging. Like I'll show you guys how to do a dropper loop rig and stuff like that. But if you want some knots, we can do some knots too. Hey, Eric. How you doing? Thanks for joining us today. Eric had a nice big fish too. What was your big fish today, Eric? Was it a rockfish or was it a bass? I forgot. I know you had a nice fish today. Now that's another good point that Jeff's making there. With uh, troll fish, you can fish that heavier line. That troll fish are not normally shot. So you don't have to worry about that. Chuck. Yeah, no, I mean, there's some boats I go to, 
and the toilets are so small it's like target shooting you know and other boats um, like the Spitfire um, the legend they have really nice full-size toilets you know I guess shouldn't talk toilets when we're doing this but um, I really like that I really like the you know having that ability to have you know a nice comfortable bathroom when you're out at sea and you know, that works out good hey Kevin so Eric said he did get I know he got a big bass I saw that today and then he also got a couple of large salmon groupers but it was just amazing how the women outfished the guys today like Eric was there and um, Willie was there and I'll tell you it was just amazing how uh, I think it was two or three of the women had limits of bass and it wasn't even close I mean they were just doing a really really good job and what was amazing too they were not um, in the stern of the boat they were on the port side of the boat casting out and had no problems catching their fish did a great job did a really great job it was impressive to watch Yeah, especially on a yacht, a yacht like yours, Jeff, you really need to have a nice bathroom. Hello, Paul. How you doing? And that's Chuck's talking about, too, um, stairs. Um, you know, if you have a lot of stairs, you need to have good handrails. So that's really good. Paul says, his wife can outfish him. I think a lot of wives can outfish the guys. But it's pretty good. <laughs> like Eric said, the women was, whipped us pretty good. You know, and they were really nice. Um, the three that were, three of the women that were with us today, um, there was more than three on the boat, but this one group of three from hospital. Um, the one person I see her all the time at the shows and comes by our booth and buys our bucktails and and shirts and does you know all that kind of stuff but this was the first year that she came out and fished with us and brought her friends with her and it was really nice it was nice to see somebody that I've seen in trade shows for years finally come out and I was teasing her you know after 37 years on TV it's nice that she made it out on the trip with us it was good Hey, Tamara, how you doing? Thanks for being here. Real, so Real Raider says, California Dawn out of Berkeley has the best restrooms. Doesn't surprise me because that used to be a boat down here that I used to fish when it was down here all the time. Oh, Alpha's still in therapy. Hope you get better. Yeah, Eric, when you have red tide, it, it really kind of hurts the fishing. Um, it's kind of funny right now at the horseshoe because I, when I was there fishing the other day, there's parts of it where um, in the red tide is super thick. You can't get a bite at all on anything. And then there was another part of the horseshoe that I fished on the far end of it, and uh, we did pretty good. We got quite a few bass. What does Albert say? Hey, Dan, how's it going, buddy? Had a great day on a Vagabond. 200, 100-pound bluefin. Very nice. Got one on the kite, and he got one on a flat fall. Paul says he took his six-year-old son and uh, he outfished him.
Yeah, so I'm going to go look for Dorado this weekend. Hopefully we find them. And like I said, if anybody wants to join us, we have space for two people to come. Two spots are already taken. We're going if it's only with the two people. I really want to get some pictures of Dorado so I can get some more charters. So I'm going, and there's a link right there. If anybody would like to join us, you can do that. And then um, Robert and somebody else was asking earlier, how can they do the super chat without doing the super chat here? And um, a way to do that is to use the link on our website in our store. Um, I think it says the Dan's Products it's the, on the shopping site. And you can use this link that's right here. So if you use this link here, I only lose 4%. That's what the bank charges us for credit card transactions. But um, if you use the Super Chat here on on YouTube, it costs me um, 30%. Because Google takes 30% of everything. Thanks, Jeff. Hopefully we'll find them. So we're going to go look. A lot of boats are going to be running. A lot of boats are going to be looking this weekend. Already the Enterprise and those guys are fishing um, rockfish in the morning. And then uh, after they get a bunch of rockfish, they're sneaking outside looking for tuna and dorado. And they've been finding the tuna. The Enterprise had a nice tuna the other day. But uh, it doesn't sound like they found any volume on the dorado. Hopefully, as Jeff said, there's another hurricane coming up right now. And hopefully by the weekend, that will be pushing some more warm water up, pushing some more tuna in our area, and pushing a lot more Dorado up our area. There's a lot of Dorado from San Diego. From the border up, there's a lot of Dorado. Around the 43, tons of Dorado. We just need a little push in the weather to get them here in the channel between Long Beach, Los Angeles, in Catalina Island. And once that happens, hopefully it'll be like last year. It'll be super, super good. All right. Um, a couple of things I want to uh, just remind people, seeing this in the last couple of trips, um, when you're bass fishing, super important to change your baits. You know, change your baits often, even tuna fishing. If your bait's in the water more than two, three minutes, Wind it in and put on a fresh bait. You know, one of the sayings is, change your bait, change your luck. And you see the people that are catching a lot of fish, they are changing their baits often. Get a good lively bait out there, let it swim good behind the boat, and you're going to get bit. Practice casting, do all that, and you'll get more fish. There's somebody new. Hello there. Did I Dyrus? I'm probably butchering your name. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, change your baits often, people, and you'll catch a lot more fish. Hey Tim, I'm here. So anybody else been fishing lately? Tyler's just getting back from a trip. He was on the producer today. He got limits of Dorado and four yellowfin. Said he would have got limits of yellowfin, but uh, they ran out of time. But it sounds good. Sounds like an awesome trip. Limits of Dorado and four yellowfin to go with it. Really, really good. Jeff says they ran into a lot of Dorado today too. And it uh, didn't sound like he had to go too far to find them. Yeah, the SKB is the prize. This is what we're going to do this month. That's it right there.
$5 super check, and it can be yours. That sounds good. Yeah, Jose, I talked to um, Captain Bill today while I was stuck in traffic trying to get home from Marina Del Rey. And uh, he was a little frustrated. They had tons of fish today, lots of bites. Didn't land a whole lot of fish, but it sounded like his passengers didn't have a lot of fishing experience. But um, they had lots of opportunities. They did get tuna. They got yellowfin tuna today. And they did get a bunch of Dorado. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Trying to talk him into being our skipper. So if you have any fishing questions, go ahead and ask him, and I'll be glad to help out. Yeah, the rocket launchers are on there. There's four of them, two on either side. It's a great tackle box. Over $300 value. And for a $5 raffle ticket, it can be yours. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but that tuna that you see over my shoulder there, um, I bought that, I think it was two years ago, in France. I was in one of the little villages outside of Nice, between Nice and Cannes, up in the mountains. And I was looking for something to bring home. And uh, I saw this wooden tuna, and it's got a little metal frame on it. And um, I thought it would be cool. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, Tamara, good job volunteering. Everybody should try to volunteer where they can in their neighborhood. For whatever cause, fishing, kids, whatever. If you're in Southern California and you want to help us, we can always use Help for a Youth Foundation. All right, Jeff's got to run. Take care, Jeff. Have a safe trip. And I'll let you know on Tuesday how I did on Saturday looking for my Dorados. Have a safe trip. Daniel says he has to go shopping tonight. All right, good night. All right, any last questions, guys? I'm still kind of beat up from being out all day. Up early at 4 in the morning. Water never tastes so good like it does when you're out at sea all day. Yeah, good night, Daniel. Let's see if I have any pictures from today. I'm sure they're not on my system yet. But I don't know why it takes. Oh no, there they are. Surprisingly. So. So here's a couple pictures from today. <clears throat> this is um, the crew, the deckhands, with me today at the end of the day. I like to take a, a crew photo. I don't know, I guess as I'm, you know, 37 years in TV. It's nice to see the crew. Hey, Michael. Thank you very much for your super chat. And uh, this is Shelly, who brought a group of people on the trip today with one of her friends. And they uh, did good on the bass. It's one of her, her employees at where she works at. One of her staff members, I should say. And uh, the sheephead and calico whitefish. And 
And then here is uh, one of the women that had her limits of bass today. And she had her limit of bass today. Did a really, really good job. All right, Tamira, have a good night. And then one last photo of the whole crew. Oh, no. Wrong one. Let me delete this one. And get this one. So this is the whole crew from the Spitfire, including the skipper. There's a Spitfire. There's Jeremy next to me and the whole crew. So that was at the end of the day. All the passengers were gone. So it was pretty cool. So it was good. Well, Michael, I got your super chat. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And, um, uh, Here's that link there if anybody wants to use it. And again, this Sunday, Saturday, the 9th, I'm going to go Dorado fishing. If anybody wants to join us, it's $500 for the day. We'll be offshore. You don't have to bring any tackle. I'll be providing it all. And we're going to go find some Dorado. All right. All right, guys, so I'm going to go inside and make some dinner, call it a night. Still got to put my rods and reels away from today. Um, all of you that were brand new fishing with me today, thank you very much for joining us. It was lots of fun. And um, if you want to try getting a Dorado, please use that link and join me. We are going. The chip's going for sure. So hopefully we'll get one or two more people to go. All right, thanks, everybody. Good night. And I'll see you here Tuesday. Tuesday night. Be safe, everybody. Bye.